We are learning more details now about the threat that forced the Downers Grove Library to cancer, cancel a controversial drag theme bingo game set for next month. WGN's Andrea Medina is in Downers Grove with more. The Downers Grove mayor addressed a concerning matter in his village on social media, saying police are investigating a threatening letter toward the Downers Grove Public Library. The message was brief, but it contained a bullet and a slur that we blurred out. I think it said more of this is coming for you with a bullet, right? Um, how is that okay for anyone to do? A return address on the envelope reads, your friends at MAGA with the Confederate flag sticker on the back. News of the letter comes after the Downers Grove Library Board held a meeting on Wednesday about a drag queen bingo that was supposed to happen in October. My personal feeling is, is that it's a hoax. But, and it came out again two weeks after it's been canceled. It came out two days after the library board meeting. The event was praised by many, but it also drew some criticism. Staff canceled it because of threats against the library. Had more of the public known that this was the kind of threat that the library was receiving, more of the public who supported the library would have come to the meeting on, on Wednesday night. Ed Brainer is a longtime Downers Grove resident. He believes a drag show would have been inappropriate to expose to teens. If anything uh, like uh, a drag queen show is presented that's going to be controversial, to me, a community space should not be a place for that sort of thing to take place. But as far as a threat the library received, he says it's uncalled for. If it was a legitimate threat, that's wrong. Uh, but uh, again, it seems like it was uh, the way it was done um, might uh, tend to think it was more of a hoax. Cinda Lester lives and runs a business in the village. She supports efforts to bring diverse programming to safe spaces like the library, but she's disappointed that the drag show was taken off the schedule. It's so frustrating to me that there seems to be so much hate and and the reality is if you don't like a program, don't attend it. Lester questions the legitimacy of the letter the library received, but says it was sent out of homophobic hate and to cause fear. It's unfortunate to me that it seems very much like hate wins. No matter the differences on the topic, both Brainer and Lester say a threat of violence to the library or anyone is not acceptable in their community. In Downers Grove, Andrea Medina, WGN News. Thank you, Andrea, for that report.